Now let's open our JS folder and core.js file. We're going to start by defining the new object literal, which will be called menu object equals opening closing curly brackets and the first and only uh, method of this object will be get day menu colon function again two curly brackets and inside of this we're going to be working with uh, our values so var year equals and we take the value from our year menu dot val then we have var month equals month val so now that we have both of the values we can check if year does not equal blank which means there is a value selected and month does not equal blank then we're going to call uh, json get json method then uh, otherwise else will simply get the day menu will set the value to blank so it actually gets the first uh, option from the menu and day attribute disabled equals true okay so now if we have year and month if the values have been assigned to it so that meaning obviously we've uh, selected some values from both of these menus then we go for get json the url will be moddday.php the file which we'll create in just a moment then we pass in the parameters first one will be year our year variable next one will be month and our month variable after this colon function and data which we get from this from executing this uh, call and then we check if is in data error basically if data error index will equals false then they replace with data menu which will pass basically the instance of the new menu with all the days displayed so now we've got uh, our object ready so the next thing is obviously to uh, execute it on specific when specific event occurs so we're going to start with function so it's document ready semicolon i'm going to create a few new lines so we can see a little bit better and now first of all menu object and we're gonna call get day menu automatically when the page loads because if we have some values already selected then obviously we want the day menu to also be active automatically so we call it right uh, when the dom is ready then we go for year and we bind event change to the year menu and when the event change occurs what we want to do is we want to also execute this method so i'm just going to copy this here and there we go obviously make sure you don't include uh, brackets at the end this has to be done this way and then the same uh, thing for day sorry for month as well we have to bind change and execute the same method so a uh, uh, core.js file is now completed let's go to the next video and create our day.php file